it's Nikki here and welcome to today's video which is my July update for Panna's Bingo. This is a Fantastic Ladies collaboration created by Kana Gray so I will link all the information you need in the description box below the video so please do check that out before you leave. Okay so as you know I'm taking a break I'm going to repeat that throughout most of my project pan opening videos uh, for this month uh, so don't expect too much of a change um, but I do have a couple of products rolling out so uh, for 062 on the bingo board um, it, the prompt was pretty embossing so I picked my very shiny packaging uh, I can't revolution um, like the Marie collection uh you know from aristocats um highlighter in the shade beloved um it does have or it did have a beautiful paw print um i mean that's upside down but you know a beautiful paw print in the uh, product but as you can see i've slightly worn it away now um so that it's not so prominent um because i have used this a total of 15 times which was the goal um so previously i had used it 13 times so i only needed to use it two more times um it weighed 58.82 last time and it now weighs 58.78 uh this time so a couple of um milligrams uh like point zero four maybe uh of a gram used but we all know highlighters are very difficult to use up anyway um a very very pretty highlighter it has like a a pink sort of shimmer to it very subtle um but it has like a pink shift to it so really really pretty i do really like it and it will be going back in my collection so that's that square done and then the other square was g53 and that was a product that was your least favorite color my least favorite color i've got to say is red i don't wear red clothing very often i don't wear red makeup very often um but this was just the packaging was red i don't mind the color red per se but i don't like wearing it on my face or in my clothes um, so this was the Body Shop Berry Bonbon Hand Cream and as you can see it's all gone. I love these hand creams. I go through quite a few every year um, and I do always get whatever is the Christmas scents every year. Um, so I always have a steady supply of these in my collection and of course I, every year I try and get their Vanilla Pumpkin one as well because like... Who doesn't love that smell um but yeah so this is from a couple of years ago i believe um and it is finally finished which was the goal um also as well i don't think i mentioned this last time but for the center square which the prompt was a mini or a deluxe sample i picked out the sample of the urban decay lipstick in blackmail and the reason why I called it more like a, a mini or a deluxe sample rather than just like a normal sample is because those things do take like a lot of use. There's a lot of lipstick in those samples. Um, so, you know, you're looking at a good 30, 40 uses to finish one of those. Um, now, I can't show it to you today because I have decluttered it. Um, I went to use it. Um, and um during my little break and um there was something funny <laughs> uh just coating the top layer of it and at first i was like ah, it's okay it'll be fine i'm sure it'll be fine um so i used it i i, I kind of cleared off the top layer and then i used it and then my lips were a little bit itchy and around that time I got very dry very sore lips as well and I wasn't sure if it was because of that lipstick or not so I actually ended up decluttering all of my Urban Decay foil sample lipsticks um, because I did get them back in 2018 so they're a good five six years old um, so yeah <laughs> that went <laughs> 
So the centre square has been uh, completed um, because of a declutter rather than I finished the product. So, um, so that is that. So moving on to the other products in this project pan. Uh, for the square B1, um, uh, hardest to pan product, I picked a blush and I am trying to completely finish and I know that's crazy and, and strange but I have finished one of these last year and I was very excited and now I'm very very worried because this is my progress with the blush this time I still have not hit pan now I've been working on this for six months but technically only four because I didn't wear makeup for the last two months and now I'm really worried I'm not going to get it finished this year. Um, I do have a good dip. I think another 10 more uses and I could hit pan. But I'm going to change my goal in this to just hitting pan. Because I think I was just overexcited that I finished a blush last year in this palette. And I was like, I can finish another one. Sure, I can finish another one. It'll be easy. Uh, and then I took two months off from wearing makeup. So I am having to change some of my goals in some of my project pans just to rework my goals for this year because of that hiatus. So my goal now is just to hit pan with this palette and I've got a pretty good dip on one side. Um, so yeah, it's the blush I'm wearing today. I love it. It's gorgeous. I do really, really like it. Um, so as of last update, it weighed 75.42. It now weighs 75.32. So I have had a 0.1 um, usage um, and I've used it five times since uh, our last update. So for the next uh, prompt is square B8. And that is something that is your favourite beverage. I chose my e.l.f. Tea Rose uh, lipstick. So tea being my favourite beverage. I do have it on my lips today, um, which is a beautiful, beautiful shade like that. Um, I'll give you a swatch, even though you can see it on my lips. There it is. Um, again, the goal is to finish because I would like to get a lipstick finish this year. Um, not sure it's going to happen unless I start using it as a cream blush and I have told myself I am not doing that with lipsticks anymore so um as of last month it uh, not last month but the last update uh this weighed 13.09 in now weighs 13.04 and I have worn it three times since then uh for G51 uh the prompt is a forgotten product and well, would you believe it? I forgot about it all. <laughs> Living up to its name. So this is the Barry M Glitter Dust and the, I just called it Mermaid. There's no name for it. There's a number on the bottom, number 26. Um, but I just call it the Mermaid one. Um, I had this in for 26 uses. Again, I don't know what I was thinking at the beginning of the year. I think I was just living on a high um, from Christmas. Um, I'm never going to use this 26 times. Not in its lifetime. <laughs> so I'm changing the goal for this one as well to just three. And I know that's a huge drop from 26, which was my original number of uses. But since January, I have not used this a single time. Not, not once. And I'm panning a green eyeshadow palette in my pan that palette. So how I've not used this in six months, I'll never know. So three uses might not seem a lot, but I bet you it'll still be here next month. <laughs> not unless I really, really like focus in on it. Is that likely to happen? Probably not. But hey, so I want to use it three times now. Just three more. Just get three uses, Nicola. Just use it three bloody times. <laughs> Okay, so for B12, moving on, uh, a flower, 
uh, product. Uh, could be in the name, the scent, or the packaging, etc. I picked out my Ted Baker Violet and Bergamot Body Lotion. Uh, this smells like a granny's body lotion, but you know what? I quite like it. Um, I have been able to use this uh, a couple of times uh, because obviously putting body lotion on was a little easier than putting makeup on. Um, it is into finish. Um, again, I feel like uh, sometimes I give myself too lofty a goal. Um, but it previously weighed 56.15. Now it weighs 52.78. I just slap a bit on every time I'm sat at my desk because it is in my desk um, with all my skincare and that. So when I do wear makeup, I'm applying this. But when I'm not wearing makeup, I'm not thinking to apply this. So it is what it is. So that will stay in. Then for the square G55, something used for an alternative purpose, I have my Avon palette in um it's called au natural and um it was a previously a quad but i had used this shadow up in a previous project pan and hit pan in these two shades my goal is 30 uses and the alternative uh way that i use this palette for is i use this in my brows so this shade here is perfect for my brows and then this shade here is good for like darkening up the outer edge of my brows so I can get a bit of contouring in my brows, you know. Sometimes I do it, sometimes I don't. Um, but I do use this one in my brows most of the time. Um, and then only do this one um, when I feel like being a bit extra. Uh, so, um, as of last update, it weighed 52.10. It now weighs, oh, it's gone up a bit. <laughs> you know when you re you don't take notice of what your notes are it says it's now 52.11 so it's gone up 0 0.01 um maybe should have got rid of all the dust uh but anyway um it was previously used 10 times i've used it three times since then so goes to show you how many times i've worn makeup in the last two months three um although i did use the blush so how did that work out five i used that twice in april okay there we go so yeah that's that one so um i have been trying to note down the numbers that were called during may and june and then also july turns out i was not writing them down in my book though so i believe these are the numbers that have been called since may Please correct me if I'm wrong. If anybody can give me a list of all the numbers that have been called so far, just so I can check, um, that would be great. I tried to search on the Fantastic Ladies Facebook page, but I couldn't find a, a, an actual list that says these numbers have been called so far. Um, so I'm guessing that these are the numbers called um, that I have on my board. So for 070... Uh, the prompt is favourite brand and for me at the moment that's got to be Beauty Bay so I brought in an eyeliner I know I can get some use out of this um, so I'm bringing this in for 10 uses this is in the shade Ice Lemonade I have already used one up of this shade this year already this is a brand new one it is like a nice yellow but what it does is it really brightens up my eye looks so yeah, as I say, I've already used one of these up this year in this very shade. This was a backup um, that I had. Um, so yeah, um, I would like to use that 10 times. And that comes in weighing 6.10. The next number I believe called is I-19. And for that, the product is the, the prompt is hyped. So I picked my Urban Decay All Nighter setting spray because this is hyped. This, this is hyped and I believe that it has every right to be hyped because everybody loves this for making sure that their makeup goes nowhere. My daughter swears by this as well because my daughter has a nasty habit despite the number of times I told her not to do this but she keeps sleeping with her makeup on and she says to me the very next day that her makeup is still in place and she believes it's down to this product 
And I keep telling her, I don't care how good the product is, please remove your makeup before you go to bed. Do your skincare and you will thank me later, I promise you. But no, she keeps doing it. 24 years old, thinks she knows better than mum. But anyway, <laughs> anybody else have that problem with children? Um, <laughs> I love it a bit. So um, I'm bringing in the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. Again, I'm going to pull this in for 10 uses. It might not seem like a lot because obviously I use the setting spray every time I do my makeup. But the reason why I'm only bringing it in for 10 uses is because I don't use this every time. I only really use this if I really need my makeup to stay in place. Otherwise, I will just use one of my cheaper <laughs> uh, setting sprays. Um, if I'm just doing filming or something like that, or just pottering with, you know, makeup and I'm not going anywhere. Um, but if I am leaving the house, I definitely use this to set my makeup so it doesn't shift while I'm out and about. So. Uh, yeah, I'm hoping I'll get 10 uses out of this fairly easily, but not too easily because I don't use it all the time. Um, the next square is I-28 and for that one, uh, the prompt is chopping block. Now, I want to issue an apology to Ruth for this one. Uh, please don't think that I don't appreciate everything you've done for me, um, but it's one of the palettes Ruth gave me. <laughs> Ruth, I love you. I really, really do. And I know, I know I even asked for this palette when you were de-stashing it. Um, but now I actually have it in my hands. Uh, this one is the BH Cosmetics Sweet Shop Cotton Candy Palette. And it has all of these shades in here. Um, this shade was broken. Um, no, it wasn't broken. Was it broken? When Ruth sent it to me, this shade had a tissue over it, as if it had been recently repressed. I think that's that's what it was. Either she just repressed it or I just repressed it. Anyway, one of the two. But anyway, this is the palette. And I was just excited to have um, the, the, the packaging. I really love these these ice cream palettes they're just I've, I've had my eye on these for ages but I didn't know where to purchase them from and then Ruth was getting um, rid of some palettes she was de-stashing and she asked me if I wanted any of them and this was one of the ones I picked thinking well I like purples and and you know and these sort of go to blues here in the center but pinks, I'm not too big on wearing pink eyeshadow. So I don't know about this palette. I don't know if I want to keep it or not. But then again, I haven't really had a play with it. So I don't know. I'm thinking of doing a de-stash of my palettes. Because I, I am hoping to move soon. And I just feel like I have way too many palettes in my collection. That I feel overwhelmed by them. And I know part of me is like, I don't want to get rid of palettes just for the sake of getting rid of palettes, um, just to bring my numbers down. But then, but then there's a part of me saying, yeah, but I'm so overwhelmed with my palette collection and my eyeshadow collection that I just don't know what to wear anymore, you know, and I'm only picking out, like I keep picking out the same palettes to wear over and over again, and I'm not getting to all of them so I should de-stash you know um so this is this is kind of on a chopping block but I need to play with it first to find out if it is something I need to de-stash or not so I'm going to bring this in for five looks so I need to make five eyeshadow looks using this palette um I am going to try and do it no pan left behind style so uh, try and use all of the shades um, but I, I basically want to make five eyeshadow looks out of this palette. I feel like with eight shades in there I should be able to get at least five different eye looks from it. Um, so yeah let's let's give that a go. Um, so I'm sorry Ruth <laughs> I feel awful. 
um, because she gave it to me. Um, so that is coming in for that prompt. And then the last one is N42. And the prompt for that one is a hair product. Now, this is difficult for me because I don't have many hair products. But I do have this. This is, <laughs> I don't know why I picked this up. Maybe I was just thinking this suits my lazy hair style type of person that I am. Uh, Tresemme Beautiful Strength Proplex Fortifiant up to 99% less hair on your brush. Pro Style Tech. There's lots of words on here. Um, grow Strong Leave-In Treatment. That's the one you need to know. <laughs> it's a leave-in treatment. It's, it's, it's a, it's a leave-in conditioner. Um, so yeah, I'm going to bring this in for 10 uses because this is brand new. But it's not brand new because <laughs> I've had this for nearly a year now. Actually, I can't remember when I bought you. When did I buy you? I have no idea. Um, but I know I've definitely had this for about a year and I've still barely used it. So, um, yes, I want to bring this in for 10 uses, get some use on this. Um, I forgot to give you weights. The Urban Decay All Nighter currently weighs 139.09. The palette weighs 171.75 and then this uh, bottle overloaded my um, weighing scales so I can't give you the weight for this one but it's heavy because it's still full. So yeah that is my Panas Bingo project pan update for you. Chaos. I'm having a chaotic filming day today we're on a roll. Um, so yeah, that is uh, my Panas Bingo update for you. If please help me out, please. If anybody has a list of all the numbers that have been called so far in Panas Bingo this year, please let me know so that um, so that I can check and make sure that I'm definitely working on all the products that I need to be working on. Um, I picked the game card number four. So if there is a number here um, that I have not spoken about that you are like, I'm sure we've had that number called, please let me know on that one as well. My current board is looking like this. So uh, the numbers coloured in are the numbers that I've completed. So I've completed N38 and the centre square and then G53 and O62. So those are the numbers that I've completed and um, all the numbers that have a line through them those are the ones I'm working on so yeah help a girl out <laughs> please <laughs> so, lost. so yeah that is my update for Panas Bingo I hope you've enjoyed it if you did please like comment and subscribe and I will see you in the next one bye, -bye.